Hi there, Ben Miller with the Colorado Center of Excellence for Advanced Technology Aerial Firefighting. Hey, uh, just wanted to check in. We haven't quit. We're still working on projects. We're just working from home, each one of us. This is my home office. Um, and today I have a staff member, uh, Brad Schmidt, uh, working on an ATAC project by himself. We're doing social distancing. Um, he is out on a mountainside somewhere uh, with his drone and his dog. And he's working on a, uh, a new thing called the Drone TAC. It's a, it's a plug-in for ATAC, and it actually allows us to fly drones within the ATAC architecture. It's pretty incredible stuff. So I actually have it running um, up on the big screen here. Um, and this is in real time. Uh, that's actually happening right now. Um, there's the location of Brad, the location of his drone, and then the live video link. Um, one of the neat things, and I'll show you a close up here in just a few minutes, is the drone uh, points the camera a certain direction and ATAC can calculate where that camera is looking. And we call that location on the ground sensor point of interest. And so therefore, we can graphically show where the drone is looking. So when Brad, a firefighter, says that he sees something, anybody on the network running in ATAC can automatically know where it is, and this way the drone operator doesn't have to explain to everybody. It's one thing to get the real video link that you can see on the right side of the screen up there, and that shows everybody just exactly what the drone operator sees, but it doesn't tell anybody where that's at. That would be left to communicating that over a communications radio explaining, hey, I see a fire, it's over by the rock, it's by the tree, it's next to the pond. The future holds the ability to automatically know where it is we're looking and share that location with everybody on the network. So let's get a closer look here and I'll show you a little bit more of what that looks like and what that means. All right, so here's Brad. Here's Brad's drone. This is where Brad's drone is looking and this is the center of where his camera is looking. We call that sensor point of interest. And then here's the real-time streamed video from Brad's drone. So again, the benefit here that ATAC provides is not just flying a drone and not just streaming video, but providing the location of where that drone's looking. So if Brad sees something that's interesting or impactful to the public safety operation or event, say a fire or search and rescue mission, he can say, I found your subject, I see a fire, etc." And as we broadcast this information around the network of public safety users, they automatically know where Brad's looking. Okay, so stop. This is the future. It's a pretty cool thing you can do when you're making a video. Anyway, Brad got home and he sent me this video. This is actually a screen capture from the device he used today flying that drone um, through DroneTac. And we wanted to show you this because it's pretty cool. In the field using DroneTac, we found that we can actually collect that spatial data. It overlays it over the real-time video feed for the drone operator and then shows graphically those resources that we're tracking. So in this case, we're tracking Brad, and you'll see in just a second here, as the video pans up, and we see Brad walking down the road right there, there's his tag. He goes off the screen, the tag goes away, and in a minute here, the video will pan back down, and if you watch, over top of the image of Brad, there's a tag with his name. If I'm the drone operator, I know that person's in the operation. Um, I know where the location of that person is, and even sometimes if that person stops walking, they kind of look like that rock or that tree, etc. But if we're tracking them as a resource, we can throw a label in the real-time video and the operator knows where they're at, who they are, and that they're part of the organization. Pretty cool. Anyway, back to the future or past or whatever it is. They know what he's looking at because Brad just told them on the radio. Now Brad doesn't have to explain to them where to go, where to look, etc. They know that immediately. So very powerful stuff here. Hey, so thanks for watching our video today. I hope it was informative. Um, hang in there. Stay safe. We'll catch you next time. Thanks.